Hey everyone, this is my awkward in front of my mirror um, intro. You like my outfit today? Mm. Yes, okay. Anyways, let's just flip this around. Okay, so right now I am about to show you my makeup collection and my phone is um, vibrating. So I'm going to show you my makeup collection and let's go ahead and jump into it. I have this chair sitting here. And I also have some clothes piled on the floor, but we're just not going to talk about that. When the chair's not there, this is what the makeup area looks like. Um, behind that curtain that is just fabric from um, Walmart, I think, I usually will store this chair. I used to have a set of drawers here, but we just knocked those out. Um, I was going to get a piece of glass to put over here because, as you can see, my paint has chipped, my black paint, so I'm going to have to redo that and probably touch up this silver here too. Um, but yeah, I have to redo that and then put some glass there so that doesn't chip because sliding this mirror around has actually chipped up my paint. So, this is what my makeup collection looks like. Up there I have my candles um, and I just have this really pretty silver paint. Um, and then this is essentially the same setup I had in my last makeup collection, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you it anyways. So, um, this is my mirror with a Christmas tree ornament hanging out of it. Hello. Um, yeah, I'm going to just kind of try to scoot my mirror out of the way. Over here I have lotion that I like to use in the morning, which is Wild Passion Flower and it's just a hand cream. Then I have the body spray I'm currently loving and this is Endless Weekend from Bath and Body Works. Over here I just keep my two different types of deodorant. I have the No White Marks, the Clear Gel, and then the Invisible Solid, both from Secret and both are the Scent Truth or Pear. So I have my makeup brushes right here and I just have this set from Sigma. I have a few extra brushes that I purchased like this one from Sigma which is the F10. Oh, you didn't, can't even see it. Um, and then this one here is just an Urban Decay brush that I really like this one for my crease. So yeah, I just have this set of makeup brushes. Haven't really adventured off in getting a ton of other brushes, but I am planning on getting some in the future. So then this is what I have for my <laughs> makeup drawers. And they're just these plastic ones from like Dollar General or something. They're very cheap. Um, I really want the nice ones from the container store, but I just haven't got them yet, and I will probably be purchasing them when I move and get into a new apartment and stuff. I'll probably have them then. When I look right here, it's a little, my lighting is not the greatest right now, um, but this is just all of my blushes, and I literally just keep them in this cute little, not really cute, it's just this little basket, probably also from Dollar General. Um, I got them from the dollar store. So, for my first few blushes, this is just all blush, um, I have my Tarte blushes. I have this little mini one. I think this is Doll Face. Yes, it is. And then I have this one in Flush. This one is Amused. And this one is like Tipsy. Yeah. So I just have these really pretty blushes. And then I have four MAC blushes here. I have these in order that I know them. This first one here is Well Dressed. And then um, this is Crap pinch me. I know what color it is. I just don't know the name. This one is Peachy Keen and then this one is Flare Power. And then I have my Bella Bomba blush from Benefit. I have this NARS duo of Orgasm and Albatross. I have two ba the Balm blushes. I have Down Boy and then Frat Boy. And then I have this random Be a Bombshell blush. Um, in beach please and I've never used it once because can you can you see that color it's like bright pink like that's terrifying right here I have a makeup sponge um, that I haven't used for a while and it's kind of dirty I have a lid to a peg that's random okay down here I have lip glosses um, this one is a juice beauty lip gloss which is kind of leaky and ew that's gross um, in here I just have some elixir lip glosses um, some NYX, more NYX, I have a lot of NYX in here and a lot of these Revlon ones that probably need thrown away because they're looking kind of grimy. This is a NARS one, Urban Decay, you know, that jazz. And then in here I have lipsticks and these are just like MAC lipsticks. I have a couple of, um, I have some Maybelline, some NYX round ones, some Revlon, L'Oreal, CoverGirl, 
a Rimmel one back there. Just, you know, different lipsticks. And then in here is where I like to store my lip butters and then color whispers. I only have three color whispers, but I have a ton of lip butters because I love lip butters. And then my two lipsticks that I've been using a lot this summer are this L'Oreal one um, and then this MAC lipstick in Angel. And I put those on top because when I have this little basket here, it's harder to open these two drawers. So the ones I use the most, I just kind of put up in that drawer. And then I used to have my lipsticks and stuff right here, but now I have foundations. But I will go over here just because we are on the topic of lipstick. I have two of these Nivea um, lip butters. And then in here, I have this jar that I DIY'd and this like little sign that says lipstick fixes everything. And these are just all my like lip crayons. So I have like Revlon, Tarte. Neutrogena, uh, CoverGirl, just all of those are in there. So going back over here, which is where I was a second ago, um, I have all my foundations and uh, I put them on this side just because they're easier to reach because my mirror does sit on this side, so I like to keep my foundations over here. So I have been trying really hard to find a dupe for, and this is in this drawer, but for this foundation here, which is from CoverGirl and it's the Nature Lux foundation. And I recently just picked up the Ready Set Gorgeous. And can we just like discuss first of all? They look the same packaging. Like the style of the packaging is the same. Um, they both are from like celebrity lines and whatever. So we're gonna see if this one is similar. It is similar, it's not the same. This was like my favorite, all time favorite foundation, but this one is way too dark and it's old, so it's a little runny. But, so I have this little basket here, which this lime green thing does not match my room anymore, but it used to. So I have a Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation in here. I have my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I have a little mini Hello Flawless Foundation. I have powders. I have Dream Matte, Stay Matte, which I just got from Rimmel. Dream Wonder, which I liked at first, but um, it gets you really oily because it has no mattifying to it. Down here, I have BB cream, so I have my Maybelline BB cream, Naked Skin, a little mini of the uh, Smashbox BB cream. I have my um, Erase Paste Concealer. I have this Boing Concealer palette thing. A little concealer I got in like an Ipsy bag. I have primers, so I have a Smashbox primer, and then I have a... Um, professional poor professional primer over here I have three four foundations I have two of the covergirl stay fabulous um, this one was the one I was using and it's not my color so I got this one just the other day I have a clean one from covergirl which I hate and then the rebel and nearly naked which is okay but it's like really not my favorite I was just using it to kind of use it up so yeah, I've never really been one to have a lot of foundations, but recently I've had more than I used to. And then in the middle thing here, this top one is just a little um, Go Tropicoral box thing. And inside of it, if I can even get it open with one hand. This is magnetic, but for some reason I'm just impaired. Yeah, it just comes with that. It's got a Coralista blush, Coralista lip gloss, you know, that fun stuff. So I just keep that up there. And then I have, in this top drawer, which is kind of hard to see into, but I have some cream eyeshadows that are my everyday ones. One's from MAC, I have three from Maybelline. I have some single eyeshadow from like Urban Decay, MAC, another MAC one. Oh, I have this Smashbox Trio, which I actually kind of forgot I had. That's sad. So yeah, just little, little single eyeshadows. And then in this drawer is like every day I pencils and tools like I have my eyelash curler I have a little eyeshadow highlight and very luminizer for some reason in this drawer um, I have like eyeliners my primer for my eyeshadow more eyeliners little baby mascara just that kind of stuff and then this drawer is like okay essentially the only thing I actually grab out of here are like my teasers I have is having fun over there. I have two different colors. Um, I have my eyebrow powder, which I've been using, which is just Max eyeshadow in espresso, and then my Great Lash um, clear mascara. You know, just eyeshadow stuff, and then I have little like chapsticks and like baby lips and stuff. And then in here, I have all of my wonderful mascaras. So I have like numerous Maybelline mascaras, like CoverGirl Club Crusher. I have a Benefits There Real, more CoverGirl, more Maybelline, 
L'Oreal Butterfly Effect and L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. Just tons of different mascaras, which is constantly changing because I'm constantly trying out new mascara. And then down here is just like eye pencils and stuff that I have extras of or like old ones that I don't really want anymore. Um, so they all just kind of sit. I have these NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, which I actually don't like. So those all just kind of sit in here. And then this bottom drawer is a bunch of color bases uh, that are cream shadows. I use them just as color bases. And then I have like some Rebel on that I never use. Um, so yeah, all these different colors that I went crazy and bought. And I actually hardly use them. So that most of them are probably really dried out and probably need to be thrown away. And then over here... I have cream blushes and I used to be obsessed with cream blushes and now not so much so I have like some NYX stick blushes, a couple NYX cream blushes, some dream bouncy blushes, I have like four of those. I have this one which I've never used which is a Be A Bombshell one and then I have this like NARS illuminator but I just put it in here. It's like old and probably doesn't even work anymore. And then, oh that's falling apart, in this drawer I have my two nature Lux foundations that are in there i have um girl meets pearl just a mini i have this nyx um liquid illuminator which i really like i have my mac mineralized skin finish and soft and gentle and then i have my watts up highlighter from benefit and this bottom drawer is the bronzer drawer this is my everyday bronzer this is my Too Faced bronzer um i have nyx um Laguna, or not NYX, wow, NARS Laguna. I have a Revlon one in here. This Tarte bronzer back there is like a Rimmel Blanc bronzer. And here is like one of those Stila one-step things that I got in a subscription box that I've used a couple times, but not a lot. Over there, I have this thing here, which essentially has nothing in it. Oh, I just dropped my deodorant, which probably broke. That's fun. Um, except for like this powder. So I use this powder sometimes. So now up here is our next duty. Um, I, back there I have a sign that says pink isn't just a color, it's an attitude that's been there for a while. I also like in the back have like a Pepsi bottle and like some glitter and like paint and stuff which just like ignore that. So starting here I have three tints from Benefit. I have Benetint, Posy Tint, and then I have High Beam. Then over here, it's just this is just all eyeshadow. I have my Naked 1 palette my Naked 2 palette and my Naked 3 palette. I have the Stila palette here. Um, I have an Inglot palette, which I will take down and show you the colors just because they are like create your own. So those are my Inglot colors. And I also have a little MAC palette, which I will open up as well because it's another kind of create your own thing. So those are my beautiful MAC shadows. And in the middle, I have like a headband and then these are all like bobby pins hair ties and that good stuff. I just like to keep those there. And then right here I have a purple eyeshadow MAC palette. Um, I have this Too Faced Natural at Night. Which just fell. This is what happens when I try to show you guys my makeup. Um, I have this Lorac palette which is really old and I haven't used it for like ever. <laughs> I have my The Bomb Nude Tude palette which is awesome. Um, I have this one from Urban Decay. It's just a little, like, random palette. Um, I have one of the fun palettes from Urban Decay. This Midnight Cowboy palette. I have the Vice palette, like the first one back there. And then this is just, like, one of the Book of Shadows um, palettes up there. And then I have an Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So, taking a step back, I'm going to set this up like it would actually look if you came into my room. So yeah, that's what that would really look like if you were in my room, and that's just all my makeup. It's just the same setup I've had for basically ever, and I like it, and I'm just a fan of it. So yeah, and then if you want like an updated of my candles, obviously I would take all of them down and show you each candle, um, but I will do an updated candle collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed my makeup collection, and if you guys have any other collection videos you want to see, or if you want to see a room tour or something of that nature, let me know, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye, guys.